Okay, Duke Wheatley here, and in this video we're going to show you how to import images into GIMP. If you're familiar with layers and etc., why uh, this may not be new to you, but at the end I'm going to show you how to import some web video or web uh, images, and that might be something that you haven't used. So first off, let's get into the catalog of my uh, GIMP collection, my Graph Pack collection here, and let's go into try this one here. The catalog has got little uh, reduced uh, sized images here. And let's see if we see anything here we want. And let's try, get out of this one, try this one. Okay, let's. Uh, what I want to do here is we're going to take these chocolates and put them into this uh, city here just for something to show you how, what, uh, what you can do. So we've located header 80 and 86 so now we're going to open up the GIMP and go into the actual where the actual images are. Okay we have uh, the GIMP open here and we've gotten into where the actual headers are and we want to open up the PSD headers so that they have the layers and it was 80 that we wanted so let's go to 80 and the PSD let's double click on that and that's our little future city here let's hit control O and open up 86 which was our chocolates the PSD file let's double click that and here we go so now we have our chocolates open and the first thing we want is to go over to our layer palette and see which one these chocolates are. That's the header and here we go, it's layer one. Now when we import this layer we're going to right click it like this and edit layer attributes and allow us to name this. So, uh, but it, right now, we want to be sure it's selected. Turns blue. Let's hit Control C to copy it. And now let's open up uh, our futuristic city video or graphic. And now, if when we paste this, if we just pasted it in, it would come in as a new document, and it wouldn't be part of this image. And we want it part of this image. So what we'll do is we'll paste as, and we want to paste it as a new layer. So let's hit that, and here it is. It comes in. Now, if I really wanted to use this in this uh, graphic, I would have first removed all this white background here. And I have some videos on that at Easy For You Guru that you can peruse if you want to remove the background. But we're just showing you how to work with layers here. So we've got a, uh, a, an easel here and let's just put it over here and if we wanted this image behind this all we would do and first let's select it right click it and edit layer attributes over here let's call this chocolates and hit OK and now when we wanted, want to find this again all we have to do is look for chocolates and we can move these layers in relationship to the other layers forward and backwards and so this one we're, we obviously want to move it back a little bit so this easel will be in, ahead of it so let's hit uh, the back arrow and now we it had to go down a couple of layers now now you can see this is behind the easel and we could move it even a little further and that would move it behind damn near everything. So let's move it up one, and that puts it where we can see it and also have the easel right ahead of it. So that takes care of uh, importing images on your desktop, but uh, suppose that you were on the web and you wanted to import a, uh, an image. So let's say you're on a, happen to be on a Russian dating site, and you would like to 
well let's see we have a little another image down here so let's click on that and suppose we wanted to save that to our desktop so the first thing we want to do is right click and then we want to save the image or excuse me copy the image so we left click on that okay now we can go ahead and bring up GIMP and here we go let's get rid of that image close without saving and okay so we have GIMP up here and we've copied this image from the web but we don't know what size it is I and mean, that's not important because what we're going to do is go in here to file and create and on create we're going to do it from the clipboard and then GIMP will read whatever image size it is and uh, open the corresponding size uh, image window so let's go ahead and from clipboard and there we go so we didn't even have to know the size and uh, that's how you would uh, bring images in from the web if you'd like so thanks for watching this video and hope you watch some more thanks a lot